Welcome back to A Moment in History. I'm Seth Udinsky. Today we travel to Western Europe at the 5th century AD, at the dawn of the Middle Ages. We explore a heroic missionary and father of the Christian church who shared the gospel with literally thousands of souls on the pagan island of Ireland. His name was Patricius of Britain, but history remembers him as St. Patrick. To understand Patrick's significance and influence, we need to explore who this man truly was, apart from the many legends that surround him. Patrick is hailed as the patron saint of Ireland, and although he spent the majority of his life serving the people of Ireland, he was not Irish. He was British, born as the son of a bishop in the Roman colony of Britain at the beginning of the 5th century. Though Patrick's father was a churchman, Patrick did not confess Christ as Lord during his early life. But when he was 16, his life took a dramatic and providential turn. Patrick was kidnapped from his home in Britain by pirates and taken to the remote island of Ireland, the very edge of the known world. During the previous century, Christianity had quickly overtaken the Roman Empire, but Ireland was beyond Rome's reach. As such, there were very few, if any, Christians on the entire island. Needless to say, Patrick arrived on the island as a young man who cared not a bit for the eternal souls of the Irish. But while tending the sheep in the fields of County Mayo as a prisoner, Patrick began to understand the gospel, and he trusted in Christ during his imprisonment in Ireland. We don't know the exact date of his conversion. What we do know is the dramatic way that God pulled him back to the same people who had taken him prisoner. After staying in Ireland for several years, Patrick escaped his enslavement and returned to Britain. But one day, Patrick had a vision in which he heard a voice calling for him to return to Ireland and share the gospel with the people of Ireland. Like the Apostle Paul to Macedonia, Patrick reluctantly but obediently returned to the land of his kidnappers. He spent the remainder of his life ministering to the Irish, and though the exact number is unclear, historians estimate that as many as 10,000 Irish people trusted in Christ as a result of Patrick's pastoring. God used the faithfulness of one man to return to the land of his kidnappers and bring the light of the gospel to an entire civilization. In contrast to the popular legend, Patrick did not banish any snakes from Ireland. But what he did do for the people of Ireland in bringing the good news of Jesus Christ was of infinitely greater value. Thanks so much for joining me once again for A Moment in History. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. And if you want us to cover one of your favorite moments in history, you can tell us in the comments. Now stay tuned for some new content.